Hello everyone and welcome to Miss Liz's story time online. So today we're doing a story time about dinosaurs. Ooh, dinosaurs. So to begin our story time, like every story time, we start with our hello song. We clap and sing hello. So we clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello with our friends at story time. We clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello with our friend at story time. We wave and sing hello. Hello, welcome to story time. So for our dinosaur story time today, I brought along some dinosaurs. Yes, they're plastic because I don't have real dinosaurs. <laughs> dinosaurs are extinct, yes. So, but there are some pretty awesome toy dinosaurs available. So what do we have here? Do you know your dinosaurs? There are many, many dinosaurs in the world, but I brought three <laughs> because I don't have that much space. And also I only had the three. So we have, which, what's this guy? A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes. And we have is the stegosaurus because you see he's got the the plates along his back and the spikes on his tail and I didn't mention you can tell that this is a tyrannosaurus rex because he's got the sharp teeth and the big head and he's got the little arms that are much smaller than his legs so if you ever see someone pretending to be a t-rex they're usually going roaring and making arr, arr, arr noises, but then they usually have the little tiny hands because the arms are shorter. So, arr. very good T Rex noise. And here we have what? I believe it's a Triceratops because it's got the big three horns, but it has some also some other spikes along it. I might not be correct, but I believe it's a Triceratops. What are we going to do with our dinosaurs today? Well, I have a song called Five Little Dinosaurs, and it involves five dinosaurs going out to play, and a Tyrannosaurus Rex comes along and tries to eat them. But you notice I don't have five dinosaurs. How many do I have? One, two, three. So since I don't have that many plastic dinosaurs, I thought I would include some puppet dinosaurs. So I have one, two, and three. So what kind of dinosaurs do I have? This one could be a T-Rex. It's got the little arms and the big head. Not quite sure because his whole body isn't there. I think it's that. This one could be a Stegosaurus because of those plates along his back. He could also be just a Godzilla, <laughs> which is not a dinosaur, but he looks a lot like Godzilla from the movies and the comic books. But this one is definitely a Triceratops because it's got the one, two, three. So we're going to do five little dinosaurs with our three finger puppets and our two plastic dinosaurs and our mean old T-Rex. Okay? Okay. So let me get that set up and we'll see how that goes. Okay. So you see I have one, two, three, four, five dinosaurs and my T-Rex. <laughs> Trying to fit my plastic dinosaurs in with my finger puppets. I think it's working though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta problem solve with what you got. So we go. Five little dinosaurs. So if you guys want, oh, I'm sorry. If you wanna keep track along at home, put up your five fingers. Yes, I would, but my hand is kind of <laughs> involved right here. So five little dinosaurs went out to play out in the land of the lost one day. Let's go out to play. 
Tyrannosaurus Rex ate one for a snack. Um, 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 um. <gasps> and four little dinosaurs come running back. Let's run back. Good job. So how many have we got now? Four. Good. So four little dinosaurs went out to play out in the land of the lost one day. Tyrannosaurus Rex ate one for a snack. And three little dinosaurs came running back. How many we got now? Three. Good, you're keeping track. Okay, so now we just got our finger puppets. So, Ooh. yeah, there we go. Three. <laughs> so we got three little dinosaurs went out to play. Out in the land of the lost one day. Tyrannosaurus Rex ate one for a snack. Um, 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 um. And two little dinosaurs came running back. So now we're at two. Two little dinosaurs went out to play out in the land of the lost one day. Tyrannosaurus Rex ate one for a snack. Um, 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 um. So how many will we have left? So one little dinosaur came running back. One little dinosaur went out to play out in the land of the lost one day. Tyrannosaurus Rex ate one for a snack. So no little dinosaurs came running back. At zero now. So what's going to happen? Well, let's see. No little dinosaurs went out to play out in the land of the lost one day, Tyrannosaurus Rex couldn't find any to eat. So off she went to go to sleep. The end. <laughs> Good job. So our dinosaur book for the day, there are many dinosaur books at the library, but this is a really good one too. It's called Camp Rex by Molly Idol. What do you think's going on in this book? There's a girl and a boy and a teddy bear and a big Tyrannosaurus Rex. And they're all around a campfire. So maybe they're all camping together? Or maybe they went to a dinosaur camp? Let's see. Camp Rex by Molly Idol. Searching for an outing to enjoy with your friends? <gasps> Consider camping. Have you ever gone camping? I have a few times when I was younger. But I'm going to be honest, I have never gone camping with dinosaurs. <laughs> the fresh air and exercise are invigorating. What's invigorating? Hmm. It's something that gives you a lot of energy. You've been invigorated. Remember to stay together as a group and stick to the trail. That's very good advice. You don't want to get lost camp. <laughs> Can you see where they're hiding? There's some dinosaur tails there. They're up there and I think that might be the triceratops. But they're good hiders. When you reach the campsite, find the perfect place to pitch your tent. Oh no, their tents are much too small for them. <laughs> Once you've made camp, you can explore the surrounding area. Looks like they still need some work to do to put that together. 
his tent's just a hat now. Learning about the local flora and fauna can be great fun. So long as you take care to avoid any dangerous plants. And refrain from disturbing the natural landscape. Oh no, it's got a beehive. That's not good. Do you know what flora and fauna is? It's a phrase people usually use for stuff that's in nature. So flora is the plants and fauna is the animals. You should tell your parents that. They'll be very impressed if you say, we should go outside to see the flora and the fauna. <laughs> Instead of, we should go outside to go see the squirrels and bushes. <laughs> I know, it's very silly. Or its inhabitants. Oh no, you gotta run away from the bees. If the opportunity presents itself, there's nothing more refreshing than a dip in a mountain lake or a bit of canoeing. You can even catch a fish or two for supper. <laughs> Do you think their canoeing went well? I don't think so. All the dinosaurs can't fit in the little canoe. But they caught a fish under her hat. She Does she seem happy about that? <laughs> so what? She's got a fish on her head. This silly camping trip is not going so great. After all the seasoned campers enjoy oh sorry after all the seasoned camper enjoys gathering wood kindling a flame and cooking over a properly prepared campfire so they got the campfire going they got their fish and ooh i think that's much too big for their little campfire Traditional sing-along and marshmallow roast always brings campers closer together. <laughs> wow, look at all the marshmallows he fit on that tree. And the triceratops has it on his all three of his horns. Toot, toot. Telling spooky stories can be fun too, until it's time to turn in. Telling spooky stories before bed. Before you fall asleep, it's lovely to listen to the soothing sounds of the forest all around you. <gasps> what sounds do they have? Oh, there's a wolf howling and there's an owl and chirp, chirp. That's a cricket. <laughs> you want to do those sounds? Let's do the wolf sound. Ow! And the owl. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and the cricket. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Good job. <laughs> oh, they finally got to sleep. Oh, except for her. She seems wide awake. In the morning, you'll awake refreshed and ready to head out on the trail again. <laughs> What's on her head? It's a raccoon. Does she look refreshed and ready to head out on the trail? No. <laughs> She's probably very tired. For experienced campers are as much at home in the great outdoors. As they are in their own backyard. 
camping out in the backyard now. The end. Did you like that? It's a silly book, yeah. <laughs> so for this part of story time, I got out of my chair because we're gonna do a little bit of movement today. I know. So I'm gonna scrooch down <laughs> so you can see me. And we're gonna do dinosaur, dinosaur. So if you've ever done teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around, it's very similar. So we're gonna do it once slowly and then we're gonna do it a second time once we know what's going on, okay? So first we go <gasps> dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Turn around twice. <laughs> Good job. We go, dinosaur, dinosaur, touch the ground. Straight down and touch the ground. <laughs> and we go, dinosaur, dinosaur, roar, roar, roar. So we roar three times. Roar, roar, roar. Good job. And then, dinosaur, dinosaur, <gasps> shut the door. Uh, why do we do that? Because the dinosaur showed up. So we go, oh, dinosaur, dinosaur, we get scared, point at the dinosaur, and then we shut the door. Okay? <laughs> you got that? Let's do it again, okay? Okay, so we go, first for dinosaur, dinosaur, we're going to turn around. So dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. So let's turn around twice. And then, dinosaur, dinosaur, touch the ground. So touch the ground. Good job. Now, dinosaur, dinosaur, we're gonna roar, roar, roar. So, roar, roar, roar. Good job. And then, now we get scared. Dinosaur, dinosaur, shut the door. Good job, good job. Now our next song is called All Around the Swamp. So it's the same tune as Wheels on the Bus. <laughs> But instead of doing the wheels on the bus, we're going to do dinosaur stuff. So, so it starts with Triceratops horns went poke, 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 poke. Triceratops horns went poke, poke, poke all around the swamp. <laughs> Good job. So now we go, what's the next one? It's going to be Brachiosaurus. Hmm. Okay, so we go. Brachiosaurus went chomp, 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 chomp. Brachiosaurus went chomp, 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 all around the swamp. Good job. Now, ooh, pteranodon. So we go, pteranodon is the flying one. So pteranodon wings go flap, 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 flap. Pteranodon wings go flap, flap, flap. All around the swamp. Good job, you're doing great. Oh, now we do. Last one is Tyrannosaurus Rex. So he goes, grr. <laughs> so Tyrannosaurus Rex went, grr, 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 grr. Tyrannosaurus Rex went, grr, 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 all around the swamp. Good job, you want to do that again? Okay. Go for the first one. So, so we're doing a triceratops first. We go, triceratops horns went poke, 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 poke. Triceratops horns went poke, 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 all around the swamp. Brachiosaurus went chomp, 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 chomp. Brachiosaurus went chomp, 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 all around the swamp. Pteranodon's wings went flap, 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 flap. Pteranodon's wings went flap, 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 all around the swamp. Tyrannosaurus Rex went grr, 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 grr. Tyrannosaurus Rex went grr, 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 all around the swamp. Good job! So I hope you had fun with our dinosaur story time today. And like all our story times, we always end with our goodbye song. So 
We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this with our friends at story time. We wave goodbye like this. Goodbye. Thank you for coming to story time. Goodbye.